Okay, uh, today is September the 9th, 2021. Um, early morning hours, but that's what it looks like when I am coming through. Uh, audio, you're about to get translated. Refers to the vehicle Citroën Picasso. It's like a beautiful little uh, van. Uh, it had like a really low mileage, like 165, 170,000 kilometers that was advertised. Um, uh, I have my opinion about it, uh, but that really doesn't matter. Um, the family I went for a visit to uh, awarded me with a lot of great stuff pertaining to MKUltra. It's a family that was involved in MKUltra already since, boy, probably 96. Uh, very, very, very deeply involved family, uh, neighbors got involved in it too. Uh, the two neighbors, one eventually departed to Poland, very angry with me. I have not seen him. Hopefully he's going to see me next time when I come around. Um, if he will, if he would. Uh, and then there is that second neighbor whom I did met. Uh, he moved from Ljubljana. Let's go to the business. It's, uh, he used to be like a blonde guy, kind of. Blue eyes. Uh, really Ljubljana dude. Um, yeah, this is basically uh, the car I am referring to. But right now, what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to put you this way, right? I'm just going to take a pencil here in my hands again. Same fashion I usually do. His house from this neighbor over there in Ljubljana. Uh, I remember there was a plot. There was some kind of a plot. And there was like a grass yard, you know, like a field. Uh, located like between the fields, like... Uh, grass, yard, flat, basically flat. Let me see if I can get something similar to that. Something similar to this here, something like this. Uh, but it would be like a parcel. Uh, very few structures seen. Uh, boy, 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 but however, sometimes in man might have been like 2003 something like this it was already many many houses built around his original where he came from and um, I would have to go there and see it right uh, I think he had something going on, or he sold, I don't know what it is. Do I remember him? Fuck yeah. I mean, uh, flat, but actually there was like something... Like... Like, like a scarf, almost. Very, very low one but very very low like maybe something that I got impression like very very low that divided his property from the neighbor in that sense but flat 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 stuff otherwise that was kind of uh, flat yeah I remember grass I remember some trees um, and this house his house really kind of boring I'm saying this because when I went to this location here, okay, let me give you the location here. Um, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Let's see that. Uh, it's called a pot over here, here in this place. We would walk oftentimes through here. This is a totally, totally, totally 
AMK Ultra Village. Okay, in this place here, this is definitely not flat. This place, this is like very, very hilly. Okay, this is like very, very, very hilly. Very, very hilly. Let me see. Now, oh, here it's actually not so. Okay, this is, this is, uh, this is not. You understand? Uh, let me see here. If I can get something like hilly, whatever. Um, his place. <laughs> uh, where this guy is from, right? From Ljubljana. It would like more or less look like maybe something like this, right? Something like that. You understand? Something like this. Okay, more or less flat. You get it? More or less flat. I, I, uh, something like this it would be, right? But what I told you about this stuff here when I demonstrated, it was like this is carp, something like this, stone made and then the neighbor properties um houses uh next time when i go i'll learn more about what i remember i'm not gonna put his conversation on uh because it was a lot about the politic i have spoken to him about um neighbor got eventually married into Milan Kuchani's family okay Milan Kuchan. this is this dude here so his neighbor got married into family of this man here this man when he find out about this family involvement in MK Ultra he was he fucking lost his mind he did go to this village, Toasty Verk. Toasty Verk, this is in Novo Mesto. You know? And uh, once he learned about this, what I demonstrated to you, this is what the man from Ljubljana, the neighbor of these people, uh, more or less, that's like I'm giving you just the terrain. You see the terrain? That's like more or less what it looks like where he is from right but here in toastiverk this guy let me demonstrate you this guy is like everything but something like this he's got now uh, let's see something uh, i can find you something that i can demonstrate you like he it's it's really hill i mean it's it's like no way that's like a totally different uh it's a totally totally different I'm sure you got this uh, landscape, all right? It's uh, it's really, yeah, okay, here. This is his landscape right here, okay? This is very hill here. I don't know if I, no, it's not gonna demonstrate, but this is very, 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 very hill. This is going all downhill, man. This is going downhill here, big time. So that's like totally, totally opposite from what uh, he's where he's from in Ljubljana. Ljubljana is about 75 kilometers from Novo Mesto. This place here, uh, I don't know. This is just a few kilometers from where I am from. Um, the Church of uh, St. Mary. Uh, again, change Church of St. Mary. Um, Uh, geez, uh, let's see this here, uh, da, 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 da. and that's our village. Okay, so that's the directions we're going to take. So this village is distant where um, I met. Yeah, okay. Oh. It's gonna do it. That's like, uh, well, wow, that's just not possible. Is it really the, the two kilometer? Um, hell, I, 
don't think so. Uh, it's really close. Okay, no, this is definitely not it. Uh, this is that pot over is here. Okay, so yeah, you're talking about the six kilometers. Six kilometers, okay, six kilometers it is. All right, it's not that close. Okay, damn it. Uh, six kilometers, yeah, it's six kilometers from our home, but on the Ren Kiyocho, they would keep, we would keep going all around this. I already spoke to you about Novo Mesto, this vicinity. One of the locations where they would brought me, bring me also was the Potover. Okay, enough. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the audio and let me start to translate. Listen, I did hit everything in a such a way that lady even gave me a confirmation about the neighbor Andre Ul. I told you about Andre Ul. He went to every car, to every vehicle all over Slovenia, whoever was involved in MK Ultron have inspected every car, took a notebook with him and have written every detail for every car, bad, good, many arrangement with the car owners as per exactly what parts they would put on site so that he would use them later uh, to switch them with parts uh, for which he deemed would be necessity uh, would be necessary to use uh, to damage me financially so that I would work and the parts would just fall, keep falling apart. That was the side job of Andre Ull, a mechanic, a seller, and uh, not exactly my type of person I already have spoken about. Uh, what can I say? I went as far as just pointing out without second attempt even on how the daughter of the lady I met went into the school for a hairdresser. In fact, I indicated into a three-year school program for a hairdresser. And I think that is such a freaking detail with such a exactness that it could not be disputed. Otherwise, the family revealed itself completely. Yeah, I learned uh, some crazy stuff. I was reminded that my neighbor here, Slavka, uh, who is a really good friend of mine, by the way, uh, under MK Ultra, I remember, I gave her like a lot of trouble and she gave me a lot of trouble and uh, it was just a war between the two of us. Uh, None of this available to my knowledge in real time, just something indifferent from the partisan memorials, memorials dedicated to the partisans. Uh, but under MK Ultra, it was a different world. And I viewed her with a saber eyes under MK Ultra. <laughs> And uh, she did too. And I really wonder what the hell that feels like when a person is like a really good friend of yours, like in real time. And when he is drugged up, he's like the worst thing you would pull out of uh, some kind of magic box or something like this. Because I really was. I know I was a nightmare. She was a nightmare. And hell, I was nightmare too. Uh, like the lady said, uh, she was her co-workers that her hand shaked at work and so on. They did. They did. Uh, that's a funny stuff, man. I hope the Slavka, the neighbor, next time when she sees me, uh, that uh, she comes to her senses and uh, maybe gives me uh, some input on this matter. Elaborates a little bit with this. Uh, but other than that, the daughter, the daughter, her daughter, for whom I pointed out that she went for a hairdresser, she was interested in me, and I was very much interested in her. I was a very pretty girl, and uh, 
it looked like Damon for sure that I would be the one. Uh, except that Tatiana under MK Ultra, I resented her badly. She was a girl from a Belarus involved in MK Ultra since '96. And uh, she had to pull some crazy stuff under MK Ultra, and it was enough also that she was next to the Putin and Lukashenko. And I really, really developed this facial recognition thing uh, under MK Ultra, uh, that I would profile the person based on the uh, facial features. And as Tatiana was from Belarus, uh, I wouldn't want to have anything to do with her anymore. But yes, uh, except that in 2017, she was my girlfriend in Russia. <laughs> uh, and the one who looked just like Tatiana was this girl. And because she looked, uh, this is a Slovenian girl, because she looked like a, a, a Tatiana from Belarus, I didn't want to have anything to do with her under MK Ultra. This is a whole fucking mess, this MK Ultra. This is not funny. Uh, people's lives were ruined. Another neighbor went for a Hunger Games to Poland. It looked like he prayed cancer and ended up with a cancer. I don't have a good feeling about the stuff I have nothing good like uh, like uh, uh, life has it in it uh, has in it for me this is bullshit you know heavy duty one uh, let me go let's go and I'm gonna do a translation of the audio recording for you the one I already have posted on the internet as a matter of fact I think I'm gonna do it just now all right so let's go let's do translation of audio so you're going to give me another uh, more credits for the play with cars. Not only with a forced unemployment, uh, but they would not even allow you to buy the car. All kinds of crazy shit, toxic stuff, yeah. Uh, especially when you're reminded of the stuff that was done to you. Okay, uh, it was all kinds of stuff that was done to me, but this stuff was done not against me only, but also was done against the people. It's a lot of people that suffer along the way. People were forced to do crazy shit, bad crazy shit per politicians. But that's okay, because I'm here to kick their ass for you. All right, let's go. I'm just going to use this stuff here. So, this is from Boca. Boca is. 5th, 2021, it is. Yeah, September the 3rd, sure. Okay. Uh, this is Boca. Boca, how can I say? This is a used uh, site where people would buy just about anything. Uh, used from computer cars, all kinds of stuff like that. I had presented one already on, on a so blog that's a Slovenian. Here. Way to buy used things. Also, this is not the main thing for the cars, you know. But I tried here too. What the hell? So many people doing me a hard time. Uh, and it brought me to this <laughs> website. <laughs> Okay, so I am there. Uh, I came to this place uh, six, seven kilometers away from our home, and uh, I see the lady there. <laughs> I, say, I say to her, uh, "Hello, aunt." I, I I tell her, "Are you happy to see me or what now?" Eh? Uh, and she's laughing. She's laughing. She says. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I said to her, are you happy or you're not? Yeah. She says, yeah, I guess that I am. Huh? She's laughing. Please to 
system is sort of for the panazite. Okay, that's a mom that used to drive kids to the school. I remember with this very car. She said, do you know me? She says, do you know me? Where do you know me from? She says, I said, with this car, you see, with this car, I tell her, uh, with this car, they, they did, this family borrowed this car. They did have me uh, on Adriatic Sea with this very car. I recognized the car. I traveled, they had and used uh, to transfer me uh, to, to Adriatic Sea. In fact, this family also did. The first one who came to see this car, in fact, I tell her, was Andre Ull. Ull. That's my neighbor. Uh, the first thing he did was he went to check uh, registration car registration papers. They were attached right above the mirror. And I will not forget when I came with a neighbor and he sit inside and had me sit next to him and he would go up there and start checking and he would tell me you see the first thing I do is I don't even look the car whatever dra, dra, dra. I go to see obviously what are you gonna do you want to check if the car has a, such a low mileage what are you gonna do other than to check uh, mileage and that kind of a prompted my suspicion there was no about the mileage because there was no no paper whatsoever including insurance uh, policies where the mileage would be written down so that that's one of the main reasons why I changed um, intentions to a purchase that day all right so the lady agrees she says yes gives me a confirmation she is just surprised I know of course my memory uh, it's unmistakable uh, the analytical skills I have are unmistakable but imagine it's not unmistakable because it's just because you know it's because of details because of the stuff I managed to analyze I managed to memorize I and, you know that's why okay so let's go on gives me a confirmation on Andre Ull. that's very important that's a neighbor like I said that will go from car to car to car played here with the cars that Americans bought and stuff like that that kind of stuff um, anticipated he's gonna rehearse all that stuff with me but that's not gonna happen I asked the lady about the car how was the car and says it was a good car right and she said yeah it was a good car yeah this car was immaculate the lady tells uh, and still works yeah they have uh, a car that's like a really good car uh, not enough money available for that kind of car it's like a new SUV over there parked where this car used to be parked this is 2003 car yeah and uh, lady says we we get one more car and that's going to be enough for the two of us but you know man uh the couple look still young they look in, in their good years you know i didn't notice it would be like geez, i don't know this is still a dynamic good looking couple lady mentions the year eight zero that scares me 
Tā šī mīļa šķiet pāra. Tas She says the years go by fast. Yeah, 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 looking at me a little bit, bites me a little bit, okay, okay. She says we're going to have this one for 15 years. Wow, okay. We're gonna publish this one here, like this, bye bye, and we go on with it. Yeah, we are at home, we don't go much around, we go once a week to the city. That's what the lady says. We don't need, I don't know what, but oh, I can assure you the two have a really good vehicle parked right there. So I point out the education of her daughter. I also point out the year the house was built. Uh, and uh, that's quite impressive because I go back more than 20 years. So that's nice feature uh, i do that kind of stuff so beyond any doubt again this is yet another mk ultra uh, lady says and uh where are you at home uh that i don't know you she says uh, and i tell her you know me so well in fact <laughs> I tell her you are just saying you don't know me, but you know me very good. She says, I, I cannot recall you, and so you must tell me so that I can recall you. I tell her like this, there was a guy on a moped that I met, actually met me on, on, on a way to the village and I will not forget what he said. He said to me, he was involved since 95, I tell her, I know her, I know this guy on a moped and they know exactly how they're gonna do it. It's so coordinated. Uh, I tell her, the man I met, I know him since 95, you know. I left in 94 to the US and I shouldn't be in Europe anywhere between 94 and mid 2006 so that's for 11 and a half years i shouldn't be anywhere in europe i repeat okay uh i was all the time in this village they would bring me here all the time to this village um let's see what else i say here yeah, he really was so much younger. He said to me, really, he did. Sometimes, probably the year when he said that, probably was like 2015, God knows what. His officially never ever was in this village. This village is like hidden away from the road. In the hills. Uh, but on the other side of no, 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 like under no statistics would you go there. You have to look for this village to fell in inside of this hole. Uh, and so the guy said, as soon as you come to this village for this car, I'm gonna know exactly what to do with you. Probably sometimes the year was 2015 when he said that to me. I tell she the lady knows everything, they know. I'm part of the guy. Let's go look for the video. Cash me. Let's look at the 
Bet ir drukāšanas servisi, ja tās gan mākuma var, bet ja tās kāpšanas tā kā mīgie servisi netika. I am trying to get a hold of bills, something that will give me an idea about the mileage, something, service, insurance policy, anything. But there's nothing available really. Uh, because the owner, a gentleman, a uh, husband, uh, did everything by himself at home in his workshop. Which he did, I'm sure, yeah, not probably. Um, I, I think he did uh, a little bit too much. Uh, I think he did a lot too much. He did not manage to, Im nor impress me, uh, not the people who came from Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje in 2012 uh, when he went reverse into a pillar over there uh, and uh, damaged doors and then he just went something quickly well actually that was earlier I was like Five years down the road, it's probably 2010, if not even 2008. 2010, I should have said. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he did not manage to impress with his body work anybody. I I looked those doors on the MK Ultra the way he fixed, and I was like, uh, um, I was jerked up, man. But that door, that it didn't look good. The body work. The way he did, the way he did. Um, this is very serious, man. Otherwise, hard working. Um, um, it's it's still time to fix the door. I know the car is old, but I don't know. I was uh, that was a terrible work. Okay, I gotta be honest with it. Uh, probably again uh, the work the body work really not good done um, so that it would have been impossible that I would not know about the body work and it's I gotta say it angered me a little bit because he said that the damage in the car it happened to him three years ago in 2018 Ah, you know, uh, you're going to hear a lot of that. We don't know you. We don't remember you. Where do we know you from? This You're going to hear this all the time, you know. And then you tell me that this was, you don't even give me the confirmation about that kind of stuff for 2012. Uh, I was kind of miserable because of that for the rest of the day. Um, but I did got few things right, right? But it would be better if I would get that right too. But okay, well, I guess we're still gonna see each other. Uh, but you know, I'm just saying. All right, uh, let's continue with this. Uh, oil change, that kind of stuff. No, you know. He was doing himself. Uh -huh. uh, whenever he needed to go to technical, the car worked perfect, everything awesome. Well, then it's okay, yeah? Yeah. Aha. A German is not a home. I asked for the keys so I could see. of the keys which for which the lady tells me are inside of the car um, I gotta ask her for a test drive and 
I suggest her to go with me on a test drive. Uh, but these people, they just wanted me to go and test car myself. I, I don't like going by myself, really. Yeah. She tells me, uh, tell me now that uh, uh, where are you from so that uh, how do you know me? She says, how do you know me? I tell her who I am, I give her the name. I did some weight loss, I tell her. Okay, now what she's gonna do, she's gonna do exactly, the both of them are gonna do exactly with her husband. Exactly what they told me they're gonna do on that MK Ultra. Okay. Uh, what exactly is this here? Okay, that's what I'm referring to is this procedure that the two indicated me. It's gonna look it's gonna be so cool, it's gonna be so cool. Okay, so let's see how cool this is gonna be. Alright. Let's see what the two came up with a plan with a secret plan to help me out. Okay. So she said I only know Maido Dotreva, okay? Who is the Maido Dotreva? That's basically like this. Um, like this, and then it's like this, uh, like this, and uh, that's just a little road that goes through uh, further to the village. Okay, so that's the main street. Now we're gonna do this here, and we're gonna do this uh, like this. We're gonna do this a street. Okay, this is our house. Uh, Maido Doge was born in this house right here, right across our street. Uh, so the next thing the two are gonna come up is gonna be actually here. I made a little mistake. Uh -huh. Like this. The next thing the two are gonna come with is gonna be identifying um, the basically uh, this here, uh, basically this neighbor, and then they are gonna be identifying uh, basically also um okay this neighbor right so that's all the neighbors around us with exception of uh basically another family which is here but that's not uh, did, they did not associate with these people, but they're gonna identify everybody around me, right? But they're not gonna identify us, right? So according to the two from MK Ultra, uh, that should indicate that they know me, but they don't wanna know me, but know me and this and that, know me, not know me, love me, love me not, that kind of game. Okay, let's see how that goes along. Okay, she's right in front of us. Uh, then she gives me some more people from the village. Mrs. Kucheva, yes. Uh, those are co-workers from Labot Company. I they would bring me to Labot Company. That's a very near uh, next to the Kirka Pharmaceutical Company, one of the oldest companies in Novo Mesto, close already. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, I tell her you have a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty house, pretty home. I wanted to give her immediately the taste that we do know each other. Yeah. Well, uh, the two of us did all this by yourself. I tell her. She says yes. Det är ju vara en gratis för när det blir vann, eh? Det är ju bråkat i ärda, jag har bort ut vart, vart i för smålda, köpträtt det. Köpträtt. Köpträtt. Boom. There are two houses there, it's an old one and that's the one that the two built. I said this is the castle of yours. They built this house sometimes in 97 and 98, so I say to them, you must have built this one here, for instance, uh, in year 2000, actually I tell even a little earlier. And she says, yes, even a little earlier. So, voila, uh, right in front of us, I do this. She says she doesn't know me, and boom, you got it. Let's continue with this. No, the truth is that uh, th this couple was extremely hard working, you know, extremely ambitious. In 97, in 98, they, the two completed this house. It was, I remember two young people that just worked and worked and worked. Uh, and um, coming to this place, actually it might have been 97, they, they completed already, seriously. First thing that happened real fast in this place, it was this couple. Uh, and coming to this place, it was always something new, I remember. There was always something new they built. Um, okay, wait a minute. Uh, they got attention from this psychiatrist from Ljubljana because of what I just stated right now. It was always something, whenever you would come, it was something they work on some new project. Uh, and it appears the two got some kind of zest energy from this uh, Ljubljana polypsychiatrist that uh, they became empowered by proving themselves maybe or something like this, God knows. Uh, they wanted to look even maybe better or something like that because of these visitations and so the whole thing was just, uh, you know, <clears throat> how can I say? Uh, People get zest, people get energy. Uh, if there was anybody like this, it was definitely this couple. Let's continue with this. Yeah. <laughs> say. The lady is laughing. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, say uh, uh, <laughs> tomorrow, which is day. Uh, she says, we still have to be, we still have to be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, still working so hard. I remember whenever we would come here, oh my god, this tour uh, last time they didn't, but look what they did now. Yeah. When I was 40, I drove uh, my grandkids to the kindergarten already. Yeah. Uh, I already have a 19 year old. Uh, Granddaughter, yeah, she was involved in MK Ultra, I know. Good. Give it nice. Are they? Yeah, go with that. I'm going to go down and go with you. It's a rat, 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 uh, yeah. I, uh, sh I said, she says, uh, uh, the grandkids, kids, they come and, uh, and they go. Uh, and I said, sure, they love to come here. I'm sure they, they, they eat good here. They, they love it here. But I say, but they don't want to be here. I mean, they don't want to stay here or it's the two of you that want to be alone. Yeah, I like uh -huh. the joke, so. Uh, she, she says the daughter, the daughter, she says the daughter, the one I, I was, um, I should have married, 
Yeah, I should have married so many ladies, but okay. Uh, she says uh, she ended up at home, come uh, returning to home. Uh, she lives at home. She's separated. She did, she did, yeah. yeah. No, I'm dying to see her. I wish I could see her. She's not at home. I ask, where is she? She is doing two jobs, she says now. <laughs> uh, she says now she's doing two jobs. And uh, says so she's doing two jobs now. Why? <laughs> because she wants to do two jobs. Now, okay, the thing about her is she is doing this second job as a waitress in one good place here. Podgoria, uh, under Gorianci Hills, uh, it's like a good funky restaurant, and uh, she gets to meet people there, have company, uh, ladies, guys, they go there, they go for a drink and so on, she's a waitress, they like her, you know, pretty smart, got divorced, she's trying to cool a little um relax from the divorce obviously yeah but she's doing that kind of job already i'm gonna tell you <sighs> six years for sure since 2015 for sure it's not 2017 2015 for sure i know that um next time when i go and i will <laughs> even longer, even longer she does it. So she relaxes herself. I am dying to see her. I want to see what the daughter looks like, you know? Uh, because I know that it was something strong that ties me to this. I know that she looks like mom, that is very, very like mom, that, that, um, oh yeah, well, every mom is going to give you yes, confirmation to that, there is no mom, she gives me confirmation on that, but okay. Okay, and uh, this is yet the biggest thing. Uh, the son, uh, the son went to Canada and was involved in MK Ultra since he got a job literally through Buckingham Palace. I don't know, man. Probably, you know, that I don't say something stupid. And I probably will not if I say 2002 even. 2004, 100%. Uh, it's the next time I have to talk about this. It was a really nice guy. Um, very nice guy, very pleasant with me, very nice friendly guy grateful for the work uh but i don't say something stupid 2004 for sure but i would go 2002 and maybe even earlier yeah that's 2002 i'll stay stand firm on that issue okay 2002 i go next time i'll talk to to um to them more when i go through there or we'll go for a walk and i'll meet them and then some more and uh, it's uh, his son now that is doing 
Ne, ne, on v vsem tom, ko bo dnev prišel, da bomo tle drugače, pa bi on ta prva v Kanadi, pa ali je šel na nizozemskem, zdaj je pa v Švici. He was in Canada, then he went to Netherlands, now he's in Switzerland, ok. Ne, tu pa nisem veril. V Kanadi je bil, pa v Švici, pa gor, pa dol in pa so tu bil. Ja, this, I can tell you all this now, right, but when you come to the house like this and it's thousands of people involved in it, you can't just go and go pack, 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 pack. It doesn't work like this, right, because still you are drugged up and, uh, but, you know, just. Se vaša ščerka? I say I didn't know about that he was in Canada this and that. Now it comes to me, okay? But because I said that I didn't know, okay, because of this, the next thing I do, I give the information out about her daughter. So, because I always keep it that way. Whenever I say something that I don't know, I'm going to immediately follow up with something that I'm going to let you know that I definitely do know you. What I'm trying to do is basically I disarm the party I am engaging in conversation with uh, from any further doubts, basically possible suspicions, whether I do remember one or not, whether I do have enough proofs or not to know a person. Okay, that's what I do. Uh, your daughter uh she have spoken to me about i tell her she completed the school the three-year education if i cannot uh, recall this properly and i'm sure i do for a hairdresser i tell her there you go she says yeah that is correct the first thing she did she completed a school for the hairdresser that's a three-year school three years school so let's hear this again. So this is just completely, completely outstanding. Okay, after the three year school for a hairdresser, uh, she also completed the school for um a chemical technician and got the job at Kirka Pharmaceutical Company. She is also a, 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 a became a, a chemical technician, but that really doesn't matter now in my case because I pointed out that she completed a school for three years school education for a hairdresser so that's like a 100 percent complete 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 you're gonna say sebastian you got it man and this is another one you have identified and that's another car sale uh you managed to get it done so you can only say to me congratulations man uh the rest of it basically the family will just reveal okay. itself. Yeah. I ask about cancer possibilities in Kirka Pharmaceutical. She my says she's okay, she's okay. I tell the in my entire family worked in Kirka Pharmaceutical. Yeah, <coughs> 
Saturday night or uh, the I mentioned some health issues related to Kirka from a surgical okay now Yeah, there's nothing with a man to the Silaraka for the Yeah, there was recently a day or recently a day or so What to spoil a box of what to spoil what do you know uh, to do the mind Ja ne, mi sam varsko dela je na prvom mjestu bi moralo biti. Ne, ne, to prva tiza, da bi se ulazio u tom delu, pa pa je da u zavisi po kojem tipu to kar delo, samo neke najdlje mu sistematski pregled. Ok, um, the neighbor was very, very angry with me. Uh, the one who went to Poland, he was extremely, extremely angry. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking shit I don't actually know what exactly to think about it all uh, he relatively came late from Poland he was like 2002 something like this and uh, that he has a cancer stuff that uh, it was some kind of stuff that was a panic fucking yelling and stuff like this and uh, I do you think I understood if he's watching this shit now I didn't know shit about what went on I didn't know what the people were angry for and that was really bad stuff uh, I knew nothing man about what happened to you whatever if you watch this program and I know you do uh, now it got to me uh, he said he would never tell anything that he just gonna blame on job at Kirka Pharmaceutical and stuff like this and lady uh, tells uh, well he does the same shit I do walks around walks around in hope to reduce the cancer the effects of cancer that's the kind of cancer that has impact on the gland nodes I had no idea I heard all kinds of stuff about people, but I, I don't understand how people got this shit. Um, yeah, they poisoned so many pe uh, people. Um, um, why I, I don't understand why they would do this shit to him. I don't understand that stuff. I mean, you gotta be crazy to allow this I don't understand what happened with these guys. Uh, I'm not completely clear about exactly the whole thing, how how the hell they got themselves into this shit, or maybe they did not even know about this stuff. There was talk about this crap all the time, it's just, I, I don't, somehow I have a problem connecting to this stuff really he is 15 years already retired Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, it goes exactly into a category of the people just as I explained. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's biking, he's walking, I don't know what he's doing. Every day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The kids already grew up, he's alone with the wife. Yeah. Ne, tukaj ste vi rekla, tu je res, tu je res. Pa tudi ne radijo, pa ko je vijo tam, tudi tu je ena stvar. Ja ne, mislim samo, da bi bilo v redu v nekem dvije. Zdaj, 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 a son about her son. He blew up. Oh yeah, he blew up. Later, two thousand two hundred, because he's the one who does the job. He's the one who makes it all go. He's the one who's good. But two thousand two hundred, he's the one who pays for the job. He's the one who does it all. Yeah, 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 he's the one who
before that, uh, before this. I say it was in 2008 here. Uh, I also go ahead and I identify her son. I tell, you know, your son already in 2008, he came back from Canada. And what I meant by this, he purchased uh, up the hill, like a, a weekend, like a land where he started uh, to do this stuff. Uh, and she says yes to that also. So there you have it. 2008, that's like 13 years back. Yeah, 13 years, 14 years back. Yeah, that's already a good one. That's already good. It was already in Canada. But like I said, definitely in 2004. But I think in 2002, this young man already went. You know what? He's about my size. Uh, but he's light haired with blue eyes and quite strong like myself really you know that's he I am six this guy may I be actually even 6.1 6.2 he is taller than myself this guy and uh, light hair with blue eyes mm -hmm. that's that uh, next time, next time when I come by and I'll ask all about that stuff. Just got confirmed about what I stated. It's uh, a very good looking young man, yep. Yeah. So there you have more information about. So yeah, he got to me about the neighbor. About this cancer crap. He was in Poland. This neighbor was in Poland. But he was very, very angry with me. Uh, this people, this people couldn't understand what exactly happened with me that, that uh, I no longer wanted to see the daughter and this and that. Then they realized uh, their daughter looks like uh, the girl over there in Russia. Uh, and they then started to think about that something really wrong with me because I was in America. <laughs> uh, and I returned back and now all of a sudden... Uh, the people from back home from Slovenia no longer were good in that sense. Uh, yeah, it's really not that kind of stuff. It's really crazy shit that went on in Belarus and in Russia. Uh, and really, in 2017, the girl that looked just like the daughter, their daughter, uh, Tatiana from Belarus, I wanted to marry her in 2017, so it really had nothing to do with that. It had something to do with something completely, like, insane people, uh, Lukashenko and Vladimir Putin. That's all there was. It really was nothing personal against the Russians, uh, definitely not against Slovenian people or whatever, but... Uh, violence went on in Slovenia just as in Belarus uh, and quite frankly I wasn't going to put up with any uh, they initiated violence uh, and I took initiative to re retaliate that were basically going step further than what they did so I started to capitalize on uh, problems they created with adding my own problems to it yeah we talk about the job and i gestured that she should just open her own hairstyle salon or something like that she shows me the daughter and I see it now. Wow, I see it. 
Ja, blies i faraj dal, dam. Če prosi se zena blies, ampak on ne rode gir prije, ampak. Okay, cool. my glasses. Ha, uh, uh, I had to take them off to mm. see uh, the photo on the phone because they're not good for mm. near vision. They're not serving me very well. Tu je Okay, so her grandkid and 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 uh, her husband are coming home, and uh, there you have it. Yeah, okay, so that's a Mr. Stoner right there. And, uh, yeah, well, I present myself, of course. Uh, the lady says she knows us, but we don't know him. I don't know him. <laughs> I look at the gentleman and said, now you're going to even say that you don't know me. I, 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 I did lost some weight, but come on now. I give him the last name, uh, the house, exact location. Uh, now, the husband is making everything possible uh, for me to look funny, like asking him about if I'm a relative from somebody, some other house that's from Slatnik and so on. The lady comes out and says, uh, he's saying that he knows me when I drove the grandkids to the kindergarten. But I don't remember him, I can't recall him. He, he, he. So that's a really unpleasant, okay? Uh, gentleman insists the car has original uh, mileage. Well, it's possible, it's possible. He says, um, it was strange to me for the car to have uh, 30,000 kilometers, uh, and I don't know, he says it was two years old when I purchased one. Uh, that's actually like 9,000 miles per year, that's not really strange. But he's got a very, he lives in a proximity of work, uh, and so it was strange to him. Okay, then. The lady says you still see the many on the road. This is a good car. The French cars are good. 
Ja, ampak je pa mašina je pa trajala je ben tu. Ja. Mašina je bila majhna. Ja, yeah, the French cars eh, good. I tell them bila, we talk about some other Renault cars and so on. Ne vem, po 150.000 km brez problem. Renault Napisil Ford da was good, yes. Razpadu ter 50.000 od dolje. Ja veš kater da imela tu podvozje, ne, imela šasija spod. Močan avto ni bil, ti bil ah, avto tako kot iz papirja. To mi je papir tako, ja, na. Je bil pa, vidi ne, tako kot iz papirja. Ja. Je bil pa, no, je francoski mehar, ja. jaz sem še na prakso hodil in ne ve, takrat sem ga še delal to avtorco. Jaz sem še spomnil na trato, ker sem delal na katerci. Ja. A, in, eh, tako bi rekel, oče in mojugote. We talk so, about the factory Renault, and we would still, I would still, I would still work at Renault, I tried. That's some Renault history here in Novo Mesto, we discuss company Renault in Novo Mesto. Uh, he says that he does not recall anybody asking me where am I from, what is my name again. And I said the first house, you come to the village. It's actually impossible you would not see one. It's fenced and it's a large, very big house. Huge. With a fenced property. It's impossible you would drive through the village and not to see one because it's the first house on your way through the village uh, and yeah we are exactly the opposite of Mido Doge that is correct and he, but he says he doesn't know anybody with this name uh, in the village <laughs> Okay, so this here, as they told me, they're gonna do for me. Ah, uh, they realize they now talk about how they know all these people. Mohar, Udoj, that's actually also Zhupancic, uh, and Slavka Yerman, that's going to be next. He already mentioned this, so there you go. But he does not know anything about this family here. Uh, who is this? Uh, also, it's at Kirka village, never heard of. Who are these people? Uh, says, we don't know about these people, these mysterious people here. Uh, so they, they did that for me, okay. Um, huh, maybe just uh, admitting the whole thing would do better for uh, uh, myself and them. But let's continue with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ani mi. Um, somebody else also went abroad and I say I don't like seeing our guys going abroad um, I give my opinion that immigration no longer is what it used to be basically is what I'm saying Naši ljudje, ki so tam studirali, recimo od 
stare u Americi, u velik družine je po Americi, ne? I tell about our family. We have a lot of family all over America basically. Pa je bila vojna, pa je se vojna končala, pa so tisti paketi z Amerike prihajali, pa to one so se tam poročile, one so tam svoj zas so še že v eni naredile. I explained that a long time ago it was different for our settlers from Slovenia to go to America. V Ameriki veste, je neprimerno za naše ljudi, po mojem, zaradi tega, ker je tam, kako bi rekel, mesec dve je družba zelo razdaljena. Na eni strani imaš čisto Anglo, Njemce, Skandinavce, na drugi strani imaš pa ljudi tam iz... Ja, ki imaš več raz tam ljudi. Iz Južne Amerike, pa iz Afrike, pa tako, ne. Imaš čisto drugo, ne. In zdaj si ti med enim, pa med drugim, ne. In jaz bom v prvi spovedal na eno, na drugo pride ni nič, ne. So vrasti med celo pa tako, da jo se bo ne more, ne. In zdaj ti prideš tam iz Slovenije in zdaj imaš ti in my view, honestly, American society is very, very, I would say, deeply divided, and it's a such a challenging place to settle, uh, to find yourself uh, where one otherwise would expect. Uh, I think, in my opinion, the country not is not any longer. Uh, just as land of opportunities at one it used to be. Not only it's competitive, but I think the society itself is deeply, deeply divided. Ono, ki bi ti mislil, ampak je takoj tisto, ki sem rekel, ne, politično. Very political. In skoče nekaj malo, ne, mislim, iz vseh strani in poli tu. Življenje ni slovensko, ni, po mojem zame, No, je to rajš, tisto, ker bi bil drugač, sicer za nekladno tukaj, ker je normalno, ne. Ti je zdaj več, ki je bil včasih, ki je bil tam italijan, pa je bil francos, pa je bil angliješ, pa je bil, ne vem, kdo je bil, poljak je bil, pa si tam prišlo, pa si rekel, si slovenc, pa je, ok, ker lahko to delaš, lahko, ok, delaj, ne. Tuk pa tuk dobiš, ne. Tega ne je več tam, ne, je to drugač. Se naravijo šel, ne gravim bolj. Um, the gentleman says uh, it's also in Slovenia it's not anymore the way it used to be and what I do is I tell them no it's not and I hope it's gonna get better and he's gonna he says no it's gonna get worse uh, and the lady says no it's not bad here in Slovenia is it bad uh, she knows me so well. She now expects I'm going to start crying about the job and stuff like that. But I don't do that. What I do instead is I say, ha, oh, here at your place, it's a heaven. And they are both laughing. Slovenia is a country. Yeah, you know how it is. 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 You Jo treba iz nebes ven stopec, pa kam da ga ne pogleda to, pa pa lahko vidiš kako je rano. Pa pa vse skrat pogledaš kako je, pa rečeš pa tako zna postavljena. Ne bi jaz so se bila, dok smo bili v Jugoslaviji. She says, I tell her, if you want to know how the situation in the country is, you have to step out of heaven. Because that's what I stated this farm, this village is. Uh, and see what the average picture of the country is. You can't judge one by the heaven. Uh, and she says, it was a heaven when I was a Yugoslavia here. This is a very, very cautious. The neighbor, like I stated, uh, is from Ljubljana, you know. No. 
She says the lady says we have more money than you have now. What about now? What about now? The gentleman says, what about is happening now in Slovenia? What about now? Well, I mentioned some mistakes uh, we have made, I believe, Slovenian nation uh, made a mistake with Yugoslavia because for one thing we lost huge portions of the land that Stalin Tito gave uh, basically exchange for a foreign territories of our little nation we're already so small and these dudes took land from the smallest uh, in exchange for the territories for the sake of the biggest right and that's how they exchange the land with the West and that's also we lost but I tell them you know whether you're individual your nation as long as you're persistent you will learn from your mistakes uh, now if you're not persistent you don't even have a chance uh, and so we are a young nation um, it's not bad it could be better and it could be much much worse I think so as long as we are persistent willing to learn um, for anybody willing to learn there is a chance <laughs> Auto that is superb, the gentleman says. He says thousand, thousand percent. And, I, and when I'm laughing, I say they can be only hundred percent, no thousand. I'm asking about some kind of paper, something that, that would give me a confirmation about the mileage. But he doesn't have anything. Okay, so we talk about the car, a little bit details, this and that. Rozumem. 
Pa še gospod mi je pogledal. Koga je to bilo? A ja, na prepihu je. A, na prepihu je. A, tako. A krenar tam? A to bi jo pa pa definitivno hati videti. Jaz bi tudi nekaj ta zarabil. Neko krenarstvo, nekaj ta. Kaj je da? Ja, 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 she was doing this prepih already 2012, probably even 2010. She was doing this like a part time. I remember she started this. I'm going to tell you what it is. She's doing this, you know, for how long? The prepih? Prepih she's doing already, my God. Before she got married, she's doing this already for 20 years this prepik stuff that's a restaurant at Gorianci far away quite far from here that's where she goes and she did like two years before she got in relationship with this guy that's how long she's doing okay so you're gonna give me another extra 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 plus next time uh, when I meet, when I talk to these people and I get all this confirmation, this is like, oh, what I say right now, but it's a fact. Um, and then she stopped once she got involved with this guy and she went back again uh, and do it, all right? So, yeah, now it came to me. Now it came to me. Okay, uh, let's just continue with this stuff. Aha, okay. And she ah, works super. in a Kirka pharmaceutical now. Yeah. Uh, it looks like she spends a lot of time now down there at, at this up there at this prepik place. She is doing everything and morning and afternoon shift and even midnight overnight shift, I should say. Ti je u redu, ti dobro, ti dobro delo. There is a big Podgorje connection, she says there. She says, go there to this prepik to meet her. I would like to. This is a very, very nice family. This is a real Slovenian family. This is a really authentic Slovenian as it gets. Yeah. These are a very, very original Slovenian people, as original as it gets. Yeah. Doesn't get more original than this. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, um, we talk about the car. Okay, that's a trouble. Uh, he says the technical examination for the vehicle was in March, but man, that's a six months ago. And frankly, I would suggest anyone buying a car. Uh, the car you should perfectly buy should still have a technical at least a month maybe two um, otherwise mm -mm. Uh, it uh, March means that the car sit at home and waited <laughs> that's the answer I'm afraid of not because of this gentleman, but because of what I have seen have happened with other cars, because of what I was told the case is going to be. It was people involved that mistreated cars. And I'm not saying this is the car because this is not the car that was mistreated. But it was people that would mistreat the cars. It was people that got angry at me thinking in anger how I'm gonna come and they gonna sell me uh, their car therefore school me it was so damn bad that a psychiatric hospital Ivana Polia started to warn the people about such practice 
they started to take note about the stuff that's how crazy it was it was people that started to mistreat their own vehicles and i noticed quite a few <laughs> came up to me with idea that uh the cars basically freaking seated that there was this guy in maribor with his alfa romeo this dealer had a car sit for two years waiting on me to come jeez man the car was in a, such a shape that he said to me well uh, most likely uh, you will make it from maribor to novo mesto at least at home he said that's the audio yet i have to put it on folks i just you know what the word toxic is shit i mean this isn't even about employment you try to get and they tell you you're not going to get employment it's about the cars about people walking inside of your room breaking you vandalizing your computers no longer even using a usb key stick to load your windows with the viruses with the stuff they can use to remotely control your desktop damn it this is about fucking up your computers destroying them the hardware i'm talking about not any more software issues destroying you to computers and destroying you the stuff that you buy new from china that comes in already waiting on you fucked up already at the postal office it goes too far man and you don't have money because you don't have a job because you're blocked and it goes from one issue to the other including cars and crap so that they could f you on every step of the way this is a little bit too much for me that's why i'm really so cautious about it so when he tells me this the car said it's in march waiting for someone to come so he can take one on a technical to pass inspection <laughs> i'm not really keen to this i i don't know i really i'm having a second thought but maybe that's what a gentleman wants you know what he said to me on that coach it's a good damn car it's just that and it sounded like it the car i didn't i didn't feel anything wrong with the car the car was like in a perfect shape i didn't notice anything but because of the stuff i stated to you and quite frankly the car was not exactly fit to my alignment it was not exactly my style all right to be completely honest about it uh, but he said uh, it's gonna be for the grandson if you're not gonna buy one uh, it's just not very cosmetically appealing he said but otherwise it's a good car which probably really is I did not notice anything wrong either with the engine or anything like this it appeared to me like a good car but damn it the stuff that I stated and it's what they had me already on the other side of slovenia and shit uh and there were cars like i told you that i don't even think i would make it home with the cars with those cars with both of those cars i probably would not make it home i would probably stuck somewhere in the middle of the road with some road assistance crap with a bill probably bigger than what i paid for the car um i don't need any of that uh the worst comes to worst i can go and buy myself a a tennis shoes a running shoes or something like this and go walking it's better than to use the roadside assistance and uh observe the car in front of the house it's true okay so hmm, for the car doesn't look good but for the interview i had with these people it's freaking awesome thank you so much and for them and with the neighbors i'll still come by and i hope i'll meet the neighbors not only these people uh who the hell knows maybe this village is just gonna say yeah <laughs>
who knows that's what they gesture they would uh it was a lot of that stuff and <laughs> at the degree of the proofs i have submitted already online you have to admit uh who could possibly resist to any of this all right let's continue with it he says he wouldn't go through the technical and pay for insurance uh, pay for all this road tax here in slovenia that's really freaking expensive it's at 400 euros okay poland you hear this shit very expensive here uh in poland it's like nothing you know but here it's like really expensive i said why 400 eh? registration insurance all that what he's trying to say to me is sebastian He's trying to say, don't fucking buy no car. <laughs> Just go and uh, buy yourself whatever, ice cream, tennis shoes, whatever, but don't buy yourself a car because they're gonna fuck you, basically. That's what he's trying to. He, this guy loves me, this father, and he just, uh, he knows. You know, I had a lot, a lot of people coming to me just saying, don't buy no fucking car, please, because they're gonna fuck you. It's better to just do whatever you want to do with that money go whatever on a trip whatever but don't buy the car because they're gonna get you and if they're not gonna get you it's gonna be this guy this andre Ull. they're gonna come and do it to you and andre Ull told me if i'm not gonna fuck you it's gonna be someone else from the city that who's gonna come to fuck you with the cars not a good situation yeah, i know that yeah. okay uh, so you you have have to newly re register a car and this and that chickens got too upset they have some kind of yeah. yeah, that's true, that's expensive, really is. Okay, so the two of us go for uh, a car test, and that is basically the end of the video. So you can give me a lot of credits also, and for knowing this family and neighbors. No, yeah, Mr. Yeah, good. I tell him I have a license also for um, track the trailer professional license over the road. He says, go, go and drive yourself by yourself, and I tell, I know, please, no, I, I prefer you have with me so that you can see how I drive. I'm a fair person, I don't want to take advantage of people like this. He says, okay, he says, let's go. Uh, I ask about the something about the car. Hello. Yeah, uh, uh, it's the telephone I answer. My mom and uh, questions. Where are you? Mine dalet sem v Potov vrhu sem. Te 
prosim, ker oče bo ponaril. Ok, tu je nič novega. Ok, adio. Ok, there was some skepticism, people saying to me, don't worry about the car, just use from the father. A father is diagnosed with dementia, right? Unundified dementia. So you can use the car, go for a job and this and that. Well, not so really. I love this audio also to prove that's not the case at all. Uh, I am bullet all the time about the car, not only by the father, but as you see also by mama. Uh, seven kilometers from there, uh, obnoxious phone call uh, that would twist anybody's heads. <laughs> uh, not that you would really want to use car from someone like this. Uh, that's why uh, it's a bullshit and with the jobs and with the car search and as you see obviously as I have a proof also with car at home uh, so that's all I want to do for this video ladies and gentlemen today is September 11 of 2021 original audio uh, however I am gonna place under this uh, video I already have published one that's original audio in Slovenian language and that will be it for this video which is gonna serve also as additional list of MKH proofs as well as for the purposes of proving about harassment concerning car purchase okay thanks for watching this video till next time